playing the game will be the hard part. Oh yeah, ribbons. Okay, so what are we doing here? Why are we here? We have State of Decay 2 with Dark Side ready to rock and roll. Characters are just itching to get in there and become meat shields for the greater good, and yet we're not playing it. Well, the reason is because, uh, what would it be, one, two, two and a bit weeks ago, I failed a weekly one-shot. I failed to beat Little Nightmares 2 in time. In fact, I went quite a bit over time. That game slapped me around, although it was mostly me slapping myself a bit. I missed something very obvious that cost me most of the time that I needed. And whenever we fail one of our challenges here, we have to roll a punishment game. And in this case, I believe this is Bane Williams' punishment game, Mind Scanners. He probably saw how much I enjoyed my time with Papers, Please, which is to say not at all, and threw in this, which is very obviously copying the homework of that game and putting their own weird flair on it. Still, let's get through it. Let's hit normal mode and proceed on. <laughs> so many good games waiting to be played, yet here we are. Yeah, there's there's the thing, right? It's uh, it's looking like a very good upcoming week for me in games, right? I'm loving Kingdom Come, I enjoy Amiui, State of Decay is here, and I'm feeling various other itches that are bound to claw their way into the channel as well. And here we are playing Mind Scanners. Well, whatever. Let's... Uh, this already looks like papers please here, doesn't it? Greetings, citizen. As you're well aware, your daughter is now in care of the structure, placed in quarantine. She's shown signs of a highly contagious mental illness. Is such a thing even possible? Details of her condition are classified, but she's in good hands. For normality and the mind. And we wanted to visit her. We are denied. You must be a mind scanner with a level 3 citizenship. You're concerned, but there's no need to worry. For your inconvenience, your daily maintenance is reduced. I don't know how much Capox are worth. Isn't that Baron's uh, currency? Papers, please don't play this game. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of not love for Papers, please. I actually think that game is really awful, but it uh, it's beloved by many, so perhaps I'm in the wrong. We've been accepted to the Mind Scanners program, just like winning that uh, work lottery in Papers, Please. Enclosed is the needed equipment for the job. This includes a radiophone. You'll receive further instructions. The constructor thanks you for your service. Well, what do we have to do? So our duty is to diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. Uh -huh. For each completed paper that we get, we'll receive 15 capox if you can't pay main to- Okay, so in what way is this not papers please so far? We've got a map of the structure, citizens showing a sign of strange behaviour. Look, a citizen is in need of attention, go pay him a visit now. So I assume it's this unhappy chappy. Rootcare is a true nature enthusiast. He knows every tree in the structure and is chief conservator of Triangle Park. Lately has become more connected with nature. He believes he is an oak tree. And I can only assume this is the entire structure here with various places we have to go and visit to mind scan people. All right, very well. Uh, this looks like a compass of sort. This is a book of lunacy. Ah, it's got rules! Rules and re- okay. Your duties as a mind scanner are simple. Diagnose and treat anomalous citizens of the structure. The map detects citizens with unusual behavior. Locate them, perform a mind scan, reveal their personality and insanity. You take full mm, responsibility for your diagnosis. If you declare them insane, they must undergo treatment. Use your treatment devices, remove insanity. Basic device can remove any type of insanity. Only one point at a time. Device manager enables you to... Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, drugs. You can also develop other special devices and drugs. Uh, to develop devices, acquire science, science of treatments, treatments expertise, mistakes will cause you to buy stress. Stressed out, treatment ends, be careful. Treatment may also cause your patients to alter their personality. And if we succeed in removing all insanity, we gain our money. End of the day, citizens must pay maintenance. If you cannot pay maintenance, okay, so what's my maintenance? So one of our guys waiting patient. Insane and awaiting treatment with three amounts of 
types of something. Primary device of a mind scanner. This, is an... this machine measures the mind of a patient, exposing him or her to a memory enhancing image. Make accurate diagnoses. Mind scanner fine tunes interpretations, declares patients sane or insane. So have they already been scanned? Because it said insane there. Treatment device, the Psychotron. Removes one type of insanity of type of anything. Charge and fire. Knob for type of lunacy. Use a small knob, change the type. Righto. And then there are drugs. Easy to use, but not without side effects. Stress, protection, remove points. The various districts, and then... Oh, hell no, am I reading that. Okay, so let's close the Book of Lunacy. What's the day button do? Okay, well nice for us to be able to rewind time here. And then there's this timer thing here. Do you want to end the day? Well, no, I want to get paid for what I do. Yeah, Heldon, man, just looking at this game. Looking at the game's store page, I knew I was done. But... Such is what it's a punishment game for. When's the last time you filed up a, uh, fired up a game held and you knew you were done before you even started playing it? Right, so this guy's going swoosh swoosh. He looks happy enough, I probably shouldn't be bothering him. Okay, so he's got three types. Now I need to blast them away. It's a perfect punishment game because the game is good, says Whitcrest. The game is good? I beg to differ already. Okay, mind scan isn't available, so let's give him the treatment. And we were told how to do this. We could blast him with this, although where do I even use this? Uh, I need to blast him with that kind, so we charge it up and... Kapow! Off it goes, and let's switch it around to another type. Beep boop beep. Kablooey. Seems to take a while for it to activate there. Is there another way that this thing's meant to be working? Hold charge, release to fire. What if I fire a smaller bolt and don't let it charge all the way up? Well, whatever the case, we have eliminated his insanity, I think. Is he going to be sane now? Well, it doesn't matter how sane he is, I'm taking my 15 Copex. I'm not an oak tree, no. That's silly, isn't it? I guess I spent too much time with the vegetation. Oh, we're just gonna let him go after that. I thought he'd be a bit more institutionalized. Mm -hmm. Oh, come now, Super Exagon's great. No more citizens required. Go rest. Continue tomorrow. Well, I gotta say, the mysterious voice is certainly looking out for me. How very nice. Nobody seemed to care about me in papers, please. The maintenance appears to be seven Copex. Yeah, there we go. Ah, oh, see, I've got enough to live happily for two more days. Your doctor's trapped in a room. You try to unlock the room, but the key breaks and she screams. Bit of an old and dusty trope, the whole save your daughter idea. Just seems to be getting used a lot in games these days. Three citizens. Choose a citizen, perform mind scan, take full responsibility. Oh, don't you worry. Who do we have here? We've got. What do we have? A mechanical brain implant individual. It's illegally modified. We've got a furry. Missing for years and presumed dead. He's managed to disappear from society, but he's been spotted at the sewer entrance. And then we've got some kind of knight here. Expert in the past, respected preserver of history. The wife has stated her husband's fascination with the medieval era has become absurd. Hang on, is this a time or a money cost? I'm assuming it's a time cost, eating into this. Maybe I need to plan my movements. Alright, let's go and mind hack the furry first.
He's a total mess. All right, well, uh, let's get scanning that mind of yours. Beware of the rodent. Come too close and you'll be torn to pieces. The rodent will bite you and give you the plague. Mm. All right, let, let's... Uh, please comply, sir. Napok, your nemesis, used to be your boss, always pushing you around, a rich bastard. I rip out his cold heart, feed it to my rats. What is wrong with these people? Uh, anyway, he's having vengeful thoughts, clearly. East elevator to the outer zone. I was nearly exiled because of a flaw in the system. Maintenance man came knocking. Two days of maintenance I had already paid. Had to pay again. So, uh... Well, he wasn't exiled. He was almost exiled. I guess he feels mistreated by society. Lava lava slice of pie, not too rotten. Ooh, lava la... Wikra, remember when you said that this is a good game? I remember. Crivens, I'm not even ten minutes into this thing. Okay, um, slice of pie. That sounds all bakery-like. Wait, what do you mean that wasn't right? That cost me time and lost me one of my bleepy boops here. My dear ones, the rats who take care of me when no one else would. They fed me, they showed me how to navigate sewers. La da 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 da, reborn by rats, I guess. Dan, a co worker from my past. The only one at work who didn't bully me until I discovered his online hate forum. Everyone posts hateful comments and pictures of me. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, right, sounds like friends for life to me, but probably tyrannized. Probably are furry hate groups online. Not that I'd know. This lost soul claims to be a superhero named The Rodent. After being bullied all through his life, he lives alone. Uh, he's clearly insane. Rodent tantrum. Five levels of insanity. But only two types of them, so I guess it's time to treat the poor bugger. Oh yeah, I was told that doing the wrong thing puts stress on, right? That shouldn't be hard. Okay, come on, let's blast this guy's brains out. You may speak truth about my diagnosis, but make no mistake, the rodent is here to stay. Avoid the red area or you will stress you. Okay, so I also have to time this one, I think, on the charging up of the, of the blast. If you want to develop another device, use the left panel. Develop a device. Well, uh, he, he does have this kind of insanity. I have to pay to develop my own stuff, though? Seems a bit naff. Well, there are a fair few of them. And drugs, of course. I don't want to pay to help this guy. That's not how it works. How do I get out of this? Come on, we'll just use this thing. Okay, no, it seems the game really wants me to. Alright, we'll pay our own money to develop ourselves the Strawbrochstocher. Removes up to three in a row of insanity type that thing. Keeps the patient in balance. Power switch, set button, set rhythm. Oh, man. Can you kill the patient by doing wrong? I can only hope. Uh... Does it also want me to develop this other type of thing to mind hack him? No, it's locked. Well, fine enough. Can we can we get to mind hacking him then? Turn on the left eye. The left eye? Is that the left eye? Is that the left eye? Change the light to X. What are you talking about? 
I think I'm killing the poor, poor bugger here. Maybe I should have read the manual. Set the light type, set the rhythm, on and off. Frequency. Ah, this is the area thing. Ah. Set frequency to 9,000. 90,000, rather. Okay, there you go. Turn on the mouth. Turn off the mouth. What a, what a pointless load of nonsense here. Wrong insanity type. Right, this means I probably want this thing off and to use this instead. And then set our insanity to that type. I'll be honest, I didn't really understand what I was doing there. I, I could have accomplished the same thing with gun. And perhaps something better with gun. Kashmir Lord says, ah, my favourite EU developer. Um, not for a very long time now. Now I'm just the furry exterminator. Thinking about it, it's becoming a bit of a running theme, isn't it? I slaughtered them all in Skyrim. What am I doing with my life? Yuck, uh, the stuff I've been eating, I have to straighten out my life. Can't return to my old life either, I'll find a way. Off you trot. Right, let's go and see the historical individual then. Ooh, not sure I have the time to deal with you, that's going to eat up everything here. Well, I'll go and speak to you anyway. Alright, just how insane are you here? I forget, does checking this stuff uh, cost me time or not? 6460 digits all running in a co interesting order, and good, this isn't costing me time. Looks like a pluck citricity matrix. Uh, yeah, sure, he at least claims he has high intelligence. Abigail, my ex-wife. No, I think he's played a bit too much Stardew Valley. Mm hmm. Technocrat? Sounds technocratic to me. Or oh, sounds like fast food machine. Okay. Highly intelligent, disrespectful, lacks empathy towards other people with lower IQ. His uncontrollable love for machines, which has developed into a desire for domination using technology. That sounds about right. I declare the man sane. Oh, but I don't get paid for uh, calling people sane, do I? Ooh, should have called him insane. Oh, no, no, look at that. We get a wee bit of money for it. Right, so if I can't... That's perhaps the only smart thing you ever did. <laughs> okay, so perhaps if you can't um, make it and treat someone in time, it's better off just to declare them sane and call that that. Still, the traveling really eats up the day, doesn't it? Still, long day for us, so let's go and have a kip. End the day? Absolutely. Pay our maintenance and carry on. I wonder if this is going to do this cruel things like in... Papers, please, where it keeps piling on more costs. He was caught trying to unscrew a brain implant of a sleeping official. Thrown into the outer zone. That doesn't mean he's insane, just means he's criminal. You've... Whoa. Okay, so you get... Uh, you lose the money for declaring people... What in the world was insane about him? Right, we've got a lot of people in this community we'd be calling insane if that was the criteria. Keeping your daughter at the Institute, letting her return home would be dangerous for her and everyone around her. She's doing well. Nothing to worry about. She is an interesting subject. You should be proud. Uh, sure, why not? Pride is a sin. Some guy here that looks like a gorilla. Don seems to have taken his job at security a little too seriously. Tenants fear. 
His desire to dominate and to be dominated. Uh, can I get away from the deviant and instead go over to the uh, the history preserver? Commands, huh? I command to mind hack. Farmlands, they build houses, raise children, I'll protect them at any cost. Sounds very protective to me. Can I not unplug this thing? It would make my life a bit easier. No, okay. A cloud of fire, arrows gliding silently across the night sky. How they rain down upon our enemies one by one like God's punishment. Enemies deserve death. Quiver of arrows, taking an arrow, placing it to the bow, and firing it into the target is satisfying feeling. That is true, it does. Fascinated by archery? I suppose he is. I've done archery in ages. I should see if there's somewhere around here that you can go and do more archery in. Doubtlessly Stockholm would, but then I'd have to do it with Swedes. That's that's not right. It seems like Benewidget's fascination with medieval times has become his life. He believes himself to be a warlord stuck in the Middle Ages. Does he, though? He's just having a good time, isn't he? I declare the man sane. I'm going to go and deal with that human gorilla. I'm going to find out that he shoots an arrow through somebody's head or something and I'm going to lose my three kopecks. I am humbled by your verdict and will forever be grateful. Now please excuse me, your grace. I must prepare for battle. Okay, that seems a bit worrisome, but we'll just let him be. Let's go and deal with this guy. Look into the... Oh, he wants me to do some security stuff. Well, too bad. Ah, mind scanner. Noble profession. I've unlocked the door, come through. He doesn't look like he has a lot of mind to scan. He looks like he came straight out of my Lanka armies. Alright. Look in and tell me what you see. It's a traffic light. Green, now it's red. Making order out of chaos. Heroic! Drawn to colours. Understands infrastructure. Wants to be controlled. Well, I mean, they all seem about right, but it probably wants me to di over-diagnose him. Why are you showing me a pair of trousers? Yeah, they're all wrinkled. Someone needs to iron those. <laughs> Happy to give advice. Wants to wear armor. Needs order. That's probably about wanting order here. I wonder if there are multiple wrong answers or multiple, multiple right answers. Uh, that's my old poster of the constructor. Dad tore it off the wall. I taped it back together. None of these sound right. Probably the power thing. It wants me to play this guy up as being some kind of deviant. How bizarre. Drawn to aesthetics of control, policing aspects of his personality has led to a complicated relationship with authority and punishment. His tenants worry about his power for a good reason. I'm afraid I'm a little too low on Kopex to declare you sane, so we're going to have to deal with you. Good lord, he has a lot of insanity, apparently. Awaiting treatment. Well, don't worry, if you've got the rubies... I've got your lamp, oil, rope, and bombs. I oh, sounds a little too keen on this one. So, I can use this weird gizmo to eliminate all of these things. So let's do exactly that. And now we have to follow the thing. Set frequency to 10k. Turn on the left eye. Uh, who's left? My left or theirs? 
Okay, my left. Flip the on-off switch seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In what world is this considered gameplay? Change the light to just that one. Okay. Set frequency to maximum. Change the type of light to X. Which one's a type of light? This? This is taking too long. Turn off the device. Turn on the device. Change the type of light to that way. Okay. Man, this is awful. Okay, so we switch out the device type now, and this thing's getting a bit stressed, so we'll just, oops, fry our patient, will we? Uh huh. You have to, you have to go until it reaches that part, and then release at the right moment. Running out of time here, and my device is getting stressed beyond measure. So what am I meant to do with a patient that I can't fix up in time? Come back for another session? Okay, requires further treatment. I guess I'm not going to get paid for a half measure. We know the structure is keeping your daughter from you. We can oh my god, this is so papers, please. We can help. We believe you can help us as well. Just remember, take good care of your patients. Don't break the people. Break the, mm, the structure pays me. They also charge me, though. Certainly didn't make up my, uh, my day in wages here. Was it them? Maybe I took a note of them in my book. Oh, I can't check my book. Anyway, yes, they contacted me. Thank you for letting us know. We will do what we can to stop them. Keep an eye out. Oh, I'll keep both eyes out. Right, I need to deal with Gorilla Breath here. And I don't have to move to return to him. Excellent. My device here is stressed beyond measure, though. Maybe I could make something new to deal with his other problems. Only costs three kopecks. A bunch of time, though, but let's have it. Removes up to three in a row of that type. Count these symbols. What am I counting? Input the correct quantity. How many symbols would you call this? I don't know. What does it count as a symbol? Tidy at the mind, locating, counting, press and hold the search button to reveal symbols, then count how many symbols match the one under. I have no idea what you mean, but I suppose seeing is believing. Holy moly, you have no idea how rubbish this experience is for me. That is really very rubbish. Okay, right. So, this, how many of those are there? Gee, I don't know, there's one, there's two, there's three. Does that one count? I'm gonna go with four. that. And as for these weird symbols, oh man. I don't know. One? I go with one. And then for his last bit of insanity, I can switch out my device to this breaking down thing. There we go, you're in good hands now. Go and join the Lankan army. Let people in, let people out. His personality is completely removed, it can never be recovered, but no worries, you'll get paid either way. Their insanity is first priority. It must be removed at any cost. Well, as long as I'm getting paid. I just want to know how to fix my machine here. Do not listen to the structure, you need to take care of your patients. Do not remove personality, keep treating, but treat with care. Moonrise. Hope I can get paid for reporting Moonrise. 
Right, the front man of Mike Zapota and the half Zips is one of the most celebrated rock stars in structure. Now his usual message of hope has given way to a darker note. Oh, how much darker? Uh, Punk Rock Lee, we are looking at very different games if you think this is punishment. I'm glancing over at the timer hoping that at least an hour has passed, but it's only been half an hour. This is... This is grim. What do you want? Oh, a mind scanner. You're here to help me out, keep an eye on things. I don't think we have much time. Any minute now, look out for anything hostile. A fan? Heavy things? I don't know. I'll die at the age of 27. Don't know how they know or how it's going to happen, but I'm certain. Well, I can speed things up for you if you want. What is it? Uh, what is the punishment goal for this game? I missed. There's no goal. Punishments work thusly. If they get rolled for me failing a weekly one shot or some other channel for uh, or challenge for whatever reason gives punishments, I play it. I usually give them a shake for at least two hours. Uh, this is going to be a very rough two hours for me. Okay, it's a waiting game. You got to help me. So. Let's find out just how insane they are, which is probably very, and then remove their worries of dying. It's a VD screen, it's all faulty, you can see the sparks flying, so switch. Zap. Mm, catastrophic thinking. Yeah, that's the doubling down on the punishment here, executable. I could be playing Dark Side right now. I've got it all set up, ready to go. The characters are in, the save is the save is fresh. But instead instead this. Man, it's like waking up on Christmas Day and being told you're not allowed to open any presents until the house is spotless. Right, maybe a bad example, because I don't mind cleaning. The cover of our first number one single time eraser were basically kids, so much ahead of our time I thought it was indestructible. Now and I <sighs> now I might not live another year. Reading always makes me yawn like that, even if I'm not particularly tired. Okay, well, this destroys clocks. Time eraser. For some reason that's a wrong answer, I'm sure. It's more like a reading comprehension test. There, underneath my bed, some sort of pentagram, an ancient curse. Chicken bones, crazy fan. It's paranoia. The superpower in State Road, uh, Death Road to Canada. He's exhibiting extreme paranoid tendencies, believing that a death will occur in the 27th year. He's unable to perform. Songwriting. Ne <sighs> Never been worse. Well, clearly insane, because I clearly need more money. Famophobe. Twelve types of insanity for me to take care of. Well, I'll get right on that. Except, I'm lacking time here. You're the profession and all, but what if your machine uh, finally sticks it to me? Okay. Uh, I can cure this kind of mental health issues. Same with this one, but I don't have this thing. Looks like one of those Jewish um, candle-y things. What was it called again? Ah, oh, Kyle mentioned it in that South Park song. Right. There we go. And it costs me 35 time and 4 dollar dues. Menorah. There we go. Removes up to 3 menorahs. The apparatus will return. Da -da 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 -da. Look for the rhythm. Rhythm, eh? Oh, this also looks a bit like Heldon's favourite kind of puzzle from Nancy Drew. Although to call it a puzzle is a bit of a misnomer. Alright, we'll get to sonar sequencing you till you're all better. Except I don't really have the time, do I? Well, it's time for treatment regardless. This monstrosity is going to help me. Yes, yes it is. Oh well, I guess no it's not. We've been working for too long already. 
At least I got paid a bit. He was caught climbing rocks. Oh, caught climbing the gates with a few big rocks and a pot of hot tar. Uh, was that the guy that I said was sane, even though he was just really into his... Also, what was the problem with that? He was just climbing a wall. His voice is really getting on my case. Are you the mind scanner responsible for Mr. Delon's? I'm not going to claim to remember who Mr. Delon's Oz is, but... I might get paid if I say yes. We're all so happy for him here in the building. And for us, no hassle, no mood swings. He's all you'd ever want from a security guard now. Oh, I would know. Years of security guard history on my shoulders here. Oh, nobody ever paid me extra. Well, I, I suppose the company I worked for paid me extra for doing certain kinds of shifts. I did, however, once get a thank you note and a six pack of beer. I got a box of candy once as well, but never money. Danzo was ape guy. Jake, if you click just right when you yawn, you could accidentally end this and go to dark side. Hmm. No, no. I owe, I owe people who put forward punishment games their pound of flesh. If I just said, okay, let's not do this punishment, then the whole system would lose all credibility. So we're sticking through with this nightmare here. I had a good feeling about you from day one. You can always come to me if there's anything on your mind. Okay. Well, it's just good to have a friend, but right now I'm trying to Jewish up Mike Zapota. Actually, I'm trying to eradicate the Jew within him, so let's get to it. Happy Hanukkah, Mike. Right, so what exactly am I going to do here? Do, 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 do. I don't understand. Do, 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 do. Ah, right, so I'm blasting it into his ears. I, it, I think it does combos though, right? So if I put in this one next, I think I can take care of all three of those. Yeah, that makes a world of sense. Change type of light to X. I'm pretty sure we're on X. Oh, uh, what? Turn off the device. Okay. Sets frequency to 40k. Turn on the device. There we go. That takes care of three of you. So, and if I take out this one, we'll have another three in a row thing. So I certainly want to do that. Uh, rhythm. Oh, that's rhythm. Mm-hmm. Turn on the right eye. Set rhythm to one. Donk. So now if I switch in for you... Uh, one, two, three. Okay, and now we can get back onto the... Menorah. That's a nice and easy one to do. And then finally... Uh, what am I looking for? We beasties like that. I count two. Have you ever ended up enjoying a punishment game? Asks Holding McGroin. Um, if you go to the list of punishment games, which is linked somewhere, and I'm sure someone can also link it, uh, I actually put a punishment rating for each of them from one to five stars. And I also note if it was a punishment, a game that actually ended up being a whole lot of fun. Some of the early ones were a bit too much punishment, but we hadn't really refined the system back then. So you're all treated there. Time to make your music again. I just bought a new apartment, massive mortgage, and you turn our frontman into an average Joe stripped of passion. Not cool, dude, not cool. We're supposed to play the sorcerer in a couple of months. This is a catastrophe. Lawyer up, scanner. 
says Bob Mack. Well, fortunately, I've got the structure to take care of such matters. Oh, yeah. Okay, what's your what's your dealio? A game designer? Well, it's already insane. Hmm? Did we ever pur purge the punishment system, Marvin? Maybe you remember better than I do. Uh, excuse me, can't you see we're in the middle of an em embering here? Wait until it's over. Uh, nope, pull him to the side. I've got no time to wait. This is official business. The other funeral get- oh, it was a funeral. Well, too bad. He puts his big hand on your shoulder and looks you straight in the eyes. Well, time to call for backup. Cart him away, lads. Within a minute, two officials come by, force the big guy away. Damn right. My old friend is being embered. I'm not allowed to attend, because you need to fry my mouth. Well, I'm glad you understand the situation. Oh yeah, yeah, I took away punishments, but that was because they'd been submitted before we'd really come to the understanding that punishment games were meant to be punishing. It used to just be send in whatever. That's why our first punishment game was Dungeon Keeper. Nobody in their right mind would call that punishing. Righto, the gem of the structure, home of politicians, scientists, and constructor. I've been inside many times on visits. I aim to work there within a year's time. Minister, perhaps even as the next constructor. Ooh. He's got politics on his mind. I thought you were meant to be a game designer. A thousand people moving in line along Core Road before long structures be filled to the brim. Expand. Hmm, right, so he wants to... <laughs> no, not exile. Hmm. Filled to the brim. We need to expand. So I guess he doesn't like having people around. Okay, I struggled to think how it would be the other two. A law paragraph, writing new laws is the same as adding new cards and power hand. Make sure that the new rules fit the old rules. Law as game rules. Nah, Honeypop 2 just missed the mark of the of Honeypop altogether. It added some meaningless bump onto it. It was a pretty ugly game and difficult to listen to as well. Right, penalty bracelet and all citizens all identical. Three crimes and you are assigned extra work. What an unbalanced system. People with extra load on their shoulders likely to make more mistakes. Well, that doesn't sound like he wants more penalty. Well, maybe he does. He's calling it a vicious circle, though. No, no, I don't. Or that—that that is to say, I haven't for a while, Zaramus. But I don't—I don't listen to music much. In fact, I struggle to think of any time that I actually just sit back and listen to music, or even listen to it when I'm doing something else. Not my kind of jam. The instruction, the law, the structure usually flawed, outdated. People ought to know how well game design applies to society. My redesign of the instruction would prove beneficial to us all in time. Right, well, he seems to think highly of himself here. Mm, political activist, though, clearly insane. The mind is lowered by his gains, not as balanced. Praise of his games has made him arrogant. He thinks he can solve anything, even society. Yeah, away you go, chappy. Ludon. Pretty sure that's a uh, game dev type right there. So, he needs his treatment, and I've got just the electrodes to the brain for him. Utter nonsense. Mind scanning is hugely flawed in its design. Anyone can see that. Three correct assumptions based on my interpretations of extract patterns, please. Well, actually, I made four correct ones, and one incorrect one. So he wants to see my next move. Our powers here are Broken Ladder... Uh, what was it called again? Menorah, and... Oh, well, all ones that I've got. So, time for your scanning sunshine. We try to get combos going. So, we start with you. 
Uh, what are we seeing? I'm counting. Oh, a lot of them. One, two, three, four, five. Tonk. And then we get this weird carpet design in to clear out some more of them. Change the type of light to that. Oh, I see. There's a circle around it now. Maybe that's what I was missing before. Turn on the mouth. Ooh, I needed four going in this time. Alright, we'll get this one. Done. Turn off the right eye. Set the rhythm to nil. Set the rhythm to one. Change the type of light to that. And now if I clear out the broken ladder, we can do a lot of menorah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I see seven. Ah, so I'll have to wait till tomorrow, Richard. Jake, is there a deadline when Sod 2 characters have to be sent in? Well, I suppose yesterday. I'll still take them, though. Who knows, we might get through that many of them. I'm so happy I got a new job. I figured, hey, I know the sewers like no one else, so I applied as a sewage... Why are you still wearing your furry get-up? They put me in charge of redesigning the infrastructure. Well, maybe you're gonna... You know, give me a slice of that pie, so to speak. You know, the guys at work are so friendly. You helped me so much, Doctor. I sent you something to show my grat. Oh, it's probably a dead rat or some moldy old pie, though. It's a painting of you saving the rodent. It's a really nice painting. Looking at it gives you a boost of it. Okay, we gave us so much energy, we put more daylight hours into the sky. By using your fax machine, we succeeded in tracking down a member of Moonrise. During our conversation, we discovered some details about a certain mutation. This mutation grants the carrier power to destroy something something machines, basically anything within the structure. We call this mutation the Pulse. It seems that Moonrise are planning on using the Pulse as a weapon against the structure. Well, they have to be stopped, don't they? You mentioned something about an instability of the pulse. We want you to acquire more information. The Moonrise agent has, of course, been banished. I wonder what's out there in the outer zone. Well, I suppose that banished guy now. Okay, let's keep going with the game. What? Travel there is another 75? Travel costs in this game are immense. I mean, how far is it to get to you? Even further, but from here, it's not a large jump. Perhaps with the power granted by the furry's painting, we'll be able to go a bit further. <laughs> In the outer zone, it's a game of banished... Oh, man. Making this punishment game worse by listing better games that I could certainly be spending my time playing. Yeah, I played a relatively short amount of banished on stream, but it still ends up one of the more highly viewed... Uh, YouTube videos out of all of them, despite being incredibly outdated. It was a very relaxing experience for me, though. Okay, let's mess things up a bit. That's just what we need. More unbalanced, great stuff. Alright, well, I won't be so gentle this time. Menorah, 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 broken ladder. Let's get that menorah going. This is very easy. It's quite funny that we just blasted into his ears, though. Uh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to that. I should have played again. And now broken ladder. All right, what do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bang. Gee, I'm raking in the big bucks now. No games follow the rules of the structure. Good. Compliance, as there should be. So it should be only five units to travel here. No, it's 35. It's like, well, whatever. Over we go. Hairstyle of Barbara, ever-changing. Unique methods in the hairstyling have made her a fashion icon. Clients include many, many big personalities. They're beginning to cut her from her lo- what? Explain further.
Has there been anybody we've decided was sane but not been just charged for it later on? I'm guessing you're not here for haircuts. Client stopped coming, now they said for you. <sighs> they know, they were in for, da da da. I'm an artist, expect artists. Is this just lucky when he goes over the edge? Looks like my apartment, before I trimmed it down, that is. Why do we only trim our hair? Most things look way better after a trim. My sofa's a prime example. Mm hmm Cuts anything. Hairy apartment. Well, it, it all sounds about right, but I guess they cut anything. Miguel, Patricia... Work together in the boots. The boots. Good times, very conservative style. I quickly outgrew them. They even criticize my methods nowadays. Sheesh. Oh, that sounds very individual to me. Officials roaming the streets. Order? I don't get it. Order is asphyxiating. I say let care. Oh. You were in my sane books until you came out with that one, though. Cut them down. Straight up anarchist. Needs to be put to sword. I'll call up my good pal Henry of Scallops. If her intuition tells her it's off balance, it will be trimmed down. Mondo insane. This is probably the first real sane one, says Pepper. Uh, well, to be fair, this is this is what I'm saying about them, isn't it? But look, they've got 18 amount of insanity. I'll take care of that. Scissorosis. How am I supposed to get new clients with that diagnosis? I'm an artist, not a lunatic. There's a difference. But you're too conservative to see this. And now they're looking at my finger, wanting to chop it off. Well... Well, time to help them out with that. Hold on, I think I'm missing something that I want there. Pause, 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 pause. They got some weird fort perimeter looking thing, and maybe, just maybe, I can develop a tool for that. The reflector. Deciphers and disintegrates thoughts. Yes. Oh god, it takes all the time. Well, I'll do it anyway. Locate thought, erase thought, keep thought. Hmm. Erase it if it's negative, keep it if it's positive. Couldn't I just erase it all? Hmm, surely. <laughs> I'd like one of those, says Marvin. I ah, see, maybe this is the game for you. Alright, can I get it done in time? What's the thought? I don't like this. Well, too bad. Where's the thought? Oh, well, I, I guess we don't get to see. Citizen requires much further treatment. I'd want to disintegrate more than just the thoughts and the furries. Uh, what did you do to Romeo? You brainwashed a genius, you rinsed a brilliant mind. He's a grey copy of himself, no ideas, no design. He's just making the same boring cards over and over. Yeah, nice to talk to you. I'm not done with you, you knobhead. This mind wiping needs to stop. Just wait till Power Fans hears about this. Uh, well, okay. Nice to talk to you. After eating your breakfast at Sun Buns, you encounter ten youngsters dressed as mystics. They raise their hands and shout, Death to the Mind Scanner, Death by Power Hand. A power ray hits you straight in the chest at full force. You fall over unconscious. Protective uniform takes most of the blow. Saving my life. Carried to hospital, we stay overnight. Alright, well, bye bye time. Hopefully, they are all locked up and banished for assaulting a government official. Well, that was a damn shame. Alright, what's going on here? 
The pulse is on the rise as vicious illness develops and the carrier is a compound force similar to an electrical current. Disruptive force can be released on purpose or accidentally due to instability. Either way, the results are catastrophic. Okay, well, I won't discuss it. I won't question it. And who would I even share it with? Jeez, this is a Japanese game with all the facts in here. Newest effort created Illuminate Pulse, currently examining five carries of the Pulse known as Disruptors. If you encounter any, report to us immediately. Well, I bet those ten kids that knocked me out and took seven of my Copex were all Disruptors. They need to be, uh... They need to be reported. Uh, this is for Little Nightmares 2, Reste. I was way off on that one. The Faraday program is our best defense against the Pulse. Earn a level 3 citizenship, and you two can join the Faraday program. Well, wasn't I wanting that so I can go and see my daughter? Possibly. How does one become a level 3 citizenship? And don't say pay 100 kopecks. Huh, I figured it was a machine talking to me here, but I guess there's someone at the end of all that. Fair enough, I've still got to... Oh, my days moving over to you is another 75. But we need to get on. Get on with you. Good points were made on that challenge. Good points are made on every challenge. You just need to be on the right side. Of course, there's two kinds of right. Barbara studying her finger again, looks at it from different angles. Well, stop doing that. Time for me to treat you. Or perhaps even beat you. Right, we've got three in a row of the broken ladder, so let's have that. And what are we looking at? One, two, three, four, four. I'll go with four. Blast that head of yours a bit. What do we have now? Um, if I take out you, I'll get a three, three in a row. So, weird rug design. Turn off the mouth. Plunk. Change the type of light to circle. Donk. Set rhythm to zero. Donk. Set rhythm to two. What a what a weird thing. It reminds me of that um, that Christmas present you'd get from someone who had no idea what to get you called Bop It. You know Bop It, right? Oh, unstable. Should I delete that? Let's delete instability. Wow, big hit on that one. I like this. Uh, I should eliminate you again. So what else do we have around here? Patience. Ah, oh, patience is good. Oh, but we have to delete things. Say goodbye to your anxiety. See, a device that removes anxiety just like that. I've become a god. Oh, Cribbins. One, two, three, four, five, six. This would be in so much demand, I reckon. Alright, what do we have? Flip the on-off switch. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Set rhythm to 0. I wonder if you just quickly do that. It seems to stop at... Oh, flip on and off. Get the jitters for that one. Uh, maximize the light in your left eye. Actually, it'd be your right eye. Maximum frequency. Turn on the right eye. Change the light to that kind. Frequency to 80,000. Okay, now time for the weird perimeter light thing. Empty. Well, empty doesn't sound good. Get rid of that. And then the weird ladder thing. Ah, a little too, little too short. Workdays ended. I haven't made any money. Seems quite fun, says Sondar. If, you, if that's what you're seeing, then sure. You want this game? Good lord, who is this? Rasmussen. Today's news. Rising concern? Outzoners continue to gather outside the walls with unknown intention. Three thousand camping at the well that's not a lot. It's not a lot at all. Also, what's with your mouth there? I understand your worries, but I assure you we have the situation under control, says the constructor. 
Saying that to who, though, I wonder. Uh, returning to the patient costs how much in walking? Nothing, apparently. Why is it free to get back to you this time, but last time it was... Maybe it was because I got knocked out. Anyway, one last bit of mind frazzling. And you'll be good to go. What's the insanity? It's broken ladder type. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. I didn't frag my patient at all there. Yeah, that's the core of the punishment here, Nossam. It's like Papers, Please, there's tons of writing, the writing is bollocks, the gameplay is bollocks, and to make it all the worse, I could be playing Dark Side right now. Oh, I'll just get paid for my paid for my troubles there. Trim hair, not flesh, precisely. I'm probably going to get some angry people saying, oh, I used to have a good uh, barber, and now, now I get boring haircuts. Wah, wah, wah. Who's the closest? I'm not sure if I should care about anything other than just My goodness. The travel eats so much out of the day. Like, an absurd amount. Why, why is there so much being spent on travel? What does it serve other than to aggravate? Uh, causing a disturbance at her customer-facing job as she's been hiding from her customers. Sounds like the opposite of a disturbance. Oliver Zinski is a facts enthusiast. We can all learn from looking at data. Oliver is following facts, logical hindrance to his social performance. Need to remove his uh, social credit score. Formerly known as Becky Joe. After replacing flesh with implants, she turned into Christine, became one with our city's most vocal and extreme cyborg activists. Cyborgs, eh? Yeah, the moment you're halfway through something, you're more closer towards getting out than going in. That's where we are with Amayui. The difference between this and Amayui is Amayui is a lot of fun. Greetings, Cyborg No. Are you interested in the pamphlet? It's a light read. I have them. Uh, no. Maybe I'll have time some other day. You'd like it. I need to scan you. Alright. Tell me what you see. Microbots, beauties, they can crawl through even the tiniest of cracks. If people are sleeping, they'll never know they become part machine. Oh, uh, what? Through even the tiniest cracks, if people are sleeping, they'll never know they become part of the machine. All means necessary. Make them sound insane. This one's easy, my very first implant, the ultraviolet eyeball. Mum wouldn't allow it, so I snuck out, no regrets. Cyborg for life. Intersection by my school, people frantically crossing, every direction, no logic, just pure animal instinct. Disgusting. Interested in traffic. I guess if, uh, if your language skills were poor, and this game does have a variety of uh, language options, this would actually be a bit tricky. I could imagine Baron having good fun playing this on uh, on the Russian setting. Anyway, you hate the you hate the flesh bags. Developed an inexplicable hate for non-cyborgs as fighting a cause to transform every citizen to a cyborg. Sounds about right. Fight the good fight. The captain. No treatment needed. Hopefully she'll look favourably upon me and give me an implant for myself. The moment I understood the weakness of my flesh, it disgusted me, said Sea Space. I miss playing around with Sea Space and Rimworld. I miss Rimworld in general, but I don't have the appetite to be jumping into the back just yet. Now, don't get in trouble. If you do, it's going to cost me those three kopecks. I feel invigorated, to be honest. T tried and tested. Ready to get out there and get the job done. See you around. And that plain skin body enhanced, you won't regret it. Oh, well, sure thing. My gosh. Well, at least you're closer, so let's see what uh, Brita Brun is up to. How did 
Did you find me? Can you see me? Mm -hmm. Do I wear glasses or not? No. It's a trip. I'm certain of it. I knew it. I'm invisible, ain't I? Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I thought they'd do something like go, no, I've just drawn on my face to make it look like I have glasses on. Anyway, you're getting scanned. Spiraling shapes, maybe it's an animal of some sort now, or something like a chair. Can't be more specific. Really? If you had to look at this and describe what it is... Mm, I'd say it's a very sinister looking face. You got the eye here, the eye here, and a big smile, although the bottom bit of it is, is lost. Some horns coming out. Maybe like the, the face... The Icon of Sin, that's it. Just say Icon of Sin. Anyway, likes chairs or animals. Nah, just say they're unsure. An empty mirror. I can see my reflection of the bathroom in it. Tidy. Recently cleaned. Nothing out of the usual. Likes mirrors. Obsessive cleaning. Yeah, I think we have to over-prescribe these people. Oh, okay. Well, it's not working this time. Does the cash register at work? I'm so bad with numbers. Usually give people a pack. Whatever they suggest. Everything kind of floats together, you know? Oh, I'm doing this right. I think this looks like a house. Definitely a house. Katie's parents live there, or is it Steffi's? I'm sorry. Sounds uh, very insecure with yourself. People faces, scanning shelves and racks. It's the department store I work. Look how their eyes brush straight past me without stopping. Feels unimportant. Probably because they are. Problems of self-worth has led Rita to the actualized idea that she's invisible to other people. I mean, I wouldn't be looking twice at her either, so that seems like a reasonable assumption. I'm more worried about the fact that she's blue and has red eyes. Looking at it now, she's actually looks more like a lizard that's wearing somebody's old gammy skin. But that is no cause for calling them insane. Yeah, thanks for the money. How odd. She just disappeared. It's going to take practically all my time to go and talk to Oliver Zinski, but if I get you done and declare you sane, it's a royal flush. But if he seems a bit insane... Oh. Itchy trigger finger on the insane already. No need of a mind scan, but if you insist, I'll comply. Oh, very compliant. Good to hear. This is what happens when you use monitor brightness above 15, Jake. Uh, I've turned up my monitor brightness a few times recently. It was long dark, and I think something else, but I prefer to keep it at 2%. Looks like a starry sky, that's where da -da -da, meteors came from back in the day, random incident, but so important to all of us. Let's reach lore that we're learning today. Mm hmm. Rules by outer forces. And, yeah, we'll go with that. Seems a bit of a reach, that one, though. I'm on stage, blinded by lights, sun. With your looks, you'll be a star. But what he said to me. Can't stand there and pretend to be someone else. Acting isn't for me. I'm not fond of that part of acting either. It's some stupid TV show, probably fancy oriented. Looks of it, flying dragons and all that. Well, I'll destroy it with facts and logic. Oh my. I guess he really wasn't a fan of uh, Skyrim either now, was he? Word mage. There we go. Probably a Morrowind player then. Sold grip of reality back by hard data. Turned him into a square conformist. As, as he should be. Very sane. Very good. Another captain type. 
So doubtlessly one of these people are going to go on a rampage and cost me three Copex, but until then, at least I'm up in the... I'm going to be above the 30s come end of day. Bet this looks good in the statistics. Well, I'll continue my work. Have a nice day. Ah, see. What a pleasant individual. And there's nothing left to do with our day, so let's just go to bed. Oh, that's a bit nihilistic, Wikra. And again, you're also the one that said this is a good game. Your patient, Brita Brown, is not shown up at work. She's nowhere to be found. Doesn't sound like my problem. It is very curious, but also not very productive. Here's a fine for... Wait, what? That is not my problem. Her not showing up is not her being insane. You have accumulated 124 science at this juncture. It's my privilege to congratulate you on your level 2 citizen. Where do I see... So oh, this is science. I didn't even notice that number there. Being a level 2 citizen comes with many perks, free parking, access to better vegetables, and don't forget, become a level 3 citizen and get access to the Institute. So how do I get all this science? Where's that been coming from? Do I need to spend science to make the tools? No, those still just cost Copex. Restores personality. Ah, uh, oh, right, these special things cost science. How about drugs? Blocks any stress, protects the personality, removes one insanity point of any type. Yeah, none of this seems necessary for me. Treatment gives it. Well then, I wonder how much we need to become a level 3 citizen. Right, get me out of here. Okay, you are clearly insane. People describe Reth as extremely charming and helpful. His donations to society help keep his generous facade. Rumours go that his supporters at the Temple of Zero are working hard to push him forward. And then there's Ursula. Cutthroat methods, impressive command of words, she convince anyone of anything. Oddly quiet. Well, let's go for mumbo jumbo here. Righto, Retho. Are you ready to become a Zero Disciple yourself? Investigate us. Let's get scanning. Yes, I know, darling. I'll not make any fuss. Look forward to the scan, but you do look like you could use some love. You look tired and distraught. What's the matter? None of your business. Now look into the lights. Form a crystal with your hands, let each finger spread out, and each fingertip touch the opposite. Nope. Look into the scanner. Let me try that machinery of yours. That's me, or my left world. My dark side represents all the things that would be wrong in the right world. I keep both worlds in balance. I've taught every zero to do this, that's why they call me the beacon. Well, he does sound like a bit of a cult leader. And as such, needs to be pacified. A valuable crystal. Once drained, the crystal is black, but not empty. It's a force inside. It draws you in. Attracts any onlooker is essential. Mm, that sounds pretty manipulative to me. Our mass mirroring. We do this once a week or so, my good people. A little more than 500. Prepared to sacrifice anything to keep their life in balance. Anything, you say? That sounds like an army to me. I wonder if that would be wrong. I mean, cult following seems more right, but... I like the idea of saying it's a threat that they have an army of soldiers. Oh. They look awfully happy about it as well. Patrick, a most tormented soul, three years ago, close to suicide, I helped them. It only took a day. I gave him hope and he's still here. Assisted suicide. Our symbol, people often assume it's a religion. How could it be? Religion is forbidden in structure. It's not a religion, we have no god, no holy text. It's just a way of life, or rather the way of life. It's a cult. And we dispose of cultists. 
Devoted followers lured in. Promises, salvation. Split and yeah, well, very insane. So let's take care of you. 29 years of those have not been 29 kind years for you, Reth. Seems like we've got a lot of these captains coming about. How many personality types are there? I believe you based your results on my left side. It's quite alright. I am intrigued. Whatever you do, your actions will either fall to the left or the right. I will teach you if you want. Nope. Now, kindly look at this light. Although, what are we looking at? The fortress, the broken ladder, and the m -m 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 menorah. All of which I have. So let's get treating. Let's see. First off, menorah. Let's blast those noises into his poor ears. some pseudoscience that that's based on. Right, we got we got ourselves a, a word here. Eyes peeled for the words. Oh, it's hope. Alright, you can keep your hope. What are we looking for now? Misery. No, no, no. Blast that misery away. Crunch. We got broken ladder up next. Yes, we do. Broken ladder. How many of the weird Shinto gates do we have? One, two, three, I'm counting three, I'm still counting three. And next up is the stronghold. Uh, no, probably better to do broken ladder since there are three of those. Oh dear lord, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, eight. Looks like a very dangerous thing for your head there. Stronghold is up next, and then one more menorah. What do we have, what do we have? This one's not a very great one, is it? Love. Okay, you can keep your love. What do we have here? Mm -hmm. More hope. You can keep your hope. I'll just blast this one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ouch. Devotion. Man, you got a lot of love going on here. Even more hope. When are we done with you? Even more hope. He doesn't look very happy, though. Damn, we almost had him. But he was just too full of love and hope. Okay, that's, that's unsolicited, but otherwise fine. Plan was stopped in good time. They've been de-mechanized and thrown into the outer zone. And that's somehow my pro My goodness. Had a rough day here. Have a cup of coffee. Compliments of the structure. Uh, sure. Thank you kindly. Well, that was a little bit rancid, but I like the way you kind of smiled after that. Ooh. Enhancing. Another incident. False occurred. Jack's noodle diner at the boots. An oven exploded. Do ovens explode? If I had known he was a jammer, I would never have hired him. The disruptor has been arrested. A quick glance at the timer top. <laughs> Not even an hour and a half in deep here. Oh my god. I did notice that this game was very positively reviewed on Steam, and I get that. If you're into this kind of game, you'll pick it up and go, ooh, yeah, great. But if you don't like Papers, Please, probably going to be disgusted by this game, which is exactly what I'm going through here. But there are monsters out there who make it their business to ensure that the punishment games are as finely tuned to be miserable for me as possible. Now, don't get me wrong, I, I always only stream whatever I want to stream. And that might sound a little bit hypocritical since I'm clearly hating this game here, but it's important to me to play games that I don't want to play 
because it really enriches the weekly one-shot knowing that this horror is on the line. Okay, enough on that tangent, just trying to draw out the time, let's keep going here. You could have avoided this if you just didn't fail, I know, Pepper, I know! Okay, so pulse blasts, malls, what a scene. Every device in the textile department completely fried. So I'm guessing the Zykra stuff is some kind of infinite energy device or high energy device. Okay, let's return to our patient. This time I don't have to travel. I think it was getting knocked out by those kids that did me in. Okay, let's see what your twin worlds have after all. Stronghold up first. Let's go and find the darker words within you. Motivation. You can keep your motivation. Neglected. Right, we will remove your feelings of neglect. And then, finally... Excellent. Convert him to Judaism with that one. Follow rules, bad is bad, good is good. Hmm, glad we're on the same page here. Now, we still got that weird Ursula. Glenn lost his father at an early age, lived with his mother, professional dancer at the dome. Neglected his work since his mother passed away. According to his colleagues, Lau seemed very nervous in the past few days. He gets antsy whenever someone knocks on the door. Has been too nervous to drive his taxi. Good God, right, I'll take care of you, shall we? You're back in the forest where we found the initial oak tree man, didn't we? Hi, hi, how can I help you? Kindly look into this and tell me what you see. That's nice, huh? I think that's, um, a waterfall. I'm taking a shower in it. A waterfall, huh? Hmm... I don't, I don't really know what to see here. I guess he likes nature? A deranged sense of sk <laughs> I'd say he's deranged. Let's go with that. Oh, come on, he's clearly deranged. Oh, that's nice, huh? I think that's, um, a waterfall. Oh, again. Well, I guess he likes nature, then. Oh, oh, I think I killed him. Let me pay for the repair, but please don't tell anyone. Uh, yeah, well, I, I like a guy who is going to pay, so let's have it. Got the dosh, but how do I get this thing repaired? Your VD screen is a mess. What happened? He's a disruptor! Can't have you out in the field with faulty gear. Expect your replacement by post. Free of charge, damn right, but I have to I have to pay in time whilst I wait, don't I? I wonder if I can visit people whilst I wait for it. Or maybe I get it instantly, who's to say? Oh, things are going weird for Ursula. And you, maybe that's my uh, my thingy thing being all busted up. Maybe we can do the work with it anyway. I can give it a go. I see a mind scanner before we start. I have to inform you that your instruments will not be applicable in my case. The voice I'm speaking to you in right now is not my own. Hasn't been for some time. Any response I provide to your testing will not be my own. Duly noted. Okay, but if you don't mind me, I'm just going to take a bit of a, a bit of a break here. Oh. Oh, well, we get the mind scanner anyway. That was very fast. I like the way they run their infrastructure here in the uh, structure. Mm-hmm. Even comes with a pack of chewing gum. Oh, well, nice to get a little treat there. Right, mind hack time. A book of rules banned, but I've got a copy. Reality's flexible. So you could have had a bend it written in these pages. Powerful. Well, at least they think they're powerful. 
I'll show them what true power is like. My mother's Sunday viddy call, every Sunday without fail. One day, she started to doubt the words coming out of my mouth, and so I knew something had changed. Fear. Voice commanded laundry room, and that, how would that, how would that in any way be helpful? Come at access to two weeks, so see, okay. Where's smells really bad? Mm, out of control. You're over the line, Ursula. Believes the words coming out of her mouth are no longer her own. Scared to use them, she's silenced herself. Unable to function. Clearly insane. And will be hacked accordingly. Sensorasis. Stronghold, menorah, and... I don't even know what that's meant to look like. Insanity is much too simple, but you work with that. You've got it. Oh, I've got you here. So, 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 so. Let's get started with... Hmm, what's the easiest one to blast through? Well, I've got a reasonable chance of... getting the menorah done. There we go. We can blast through that at least to get some progress here. Hey, took care of it just in time. Goodness, we are we're very Germanic with our on-the-clock stuff here. Further treatment required, and a lot of treatment. I saw that 23 there. The money situation is alright after we extorted the disruptor, though. 512 people were found dead in the temple. It appears to be a mass suicide of a cult known as... Oh, yes! A now ex-member of the cult escaped the scene, told us that the mass suicide was an attempt to follow their leader who travelled to the right side of the mirrored world. That's just awful. What a tragedy. All these people needed treatment. You can't help everyone, Scanner. You did what you could. Now, there should have been more followers to start with. Okay, thank you for reporting that disruptor. You're very welcome. From your description, he did not seem hostile. His blast must have been caused by the instability. You should go talk to Boris, a chip market shopper in the boots. He helped us develop the mind scanner's prototype, so he knows a thing or two about the relationship between mind and... Why should I have to go check up on this? Alright. I've got, I've got a patient who needs my time. Actually, my patient moved somehow. I'd have to pay to go and see them again, wouldn't I? Let's go see what this Boris individual does. I don't owe you people two clicks of my time. Might have seen a couple of incidents. What of it? The constructor scared their toys will short circuit. I guess that makes sense. Those jammers can shoot. Well, I'll just get to the point. You scanners are forgetting one important thing. You're dealing with people. People have unstable thoughts. Their personality is the cause of this instability. I, I don't really care here. I'm here to do a job. Be off. I have to fix six fix right and hey, don't let the structure run you down. I run the structure, buddy. Right, let's go and deal with this other walking mental case. Although that's already eaten away most of my day. Yeah, damn right, I'm back for more. Right, line them up. Stronghold, stronghold. We'll take care of that then. Let's find your nasty words. I'm seeing... Well, nothing actually. Oh, I see some misery. Let's blast away your misery. Looks like you enjoyed that a wee bit. Let's take the weird carpet thing here. Set frequency to 30k. Set rhythm to 1. It's taking more and more to get this 
uh, built up, isn't it? 65k. Change the type of light to nothing but circle. Frequency to 35k. Oh, beast within. I wish I was, but I'm certainly not. Not with this going on. Speaking of, you're about to be featured prominently on the channel. Today's your day. Set rhythm to 2. Set rhythm to note. Frequency to second highest. And then we need the power of the menorah. I guess not. What does this bar do? I don't think I understand what that does. Maybe that's how much of their personality they have left. That's personality and that's... Oh, I think I get it now. Right, right. If they want me to keep the personality, I need to make drugs to inhibit the damage to their personality. It even says personality bar when I hover over it. That doesn't matter. I'm erasing that with every other dissident thought that they have. Damn, made no money. Lost my money. Your daughter smiles at you. Okay, well, good for her. My hair is ruined. I've been turned into an average Joe. What have you done to my divine stylist? I might as well have asked a robot to do the job. The structure will be less beautiful. I hope you're happy. I'd be happier if I had some more money. The structure wants to reward you for your loyalty. Your speeder could use an upgrade. It will send a mechanic. You'll be traveling much faster from now on. Glad to hear it. Right, time to erase you. Although, why don't we try for once not nuking their brain? How do, how do I get them some drugs? Protects the personality, removes insanity. Alright, let's 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 give that a go, shall we? How do I actually give you that drug? Right, begin the treatment. I need to do the menorah. I'm gonna give you this. Oh, okay. I wonder how long that works. Hopefully I get some kind of alert when that's uh, no longer useful. Right, what are your thoughts here? Empty. Now I'll blast away your emptiness. What else are we going to blast away? Um, ooh, none of that looks good. Let's use the menorah. Ah, well, look what's... Oh, come off it now. That was a bit fierce. So whilst this was happening, her personality came back and got blasted away. Those drugs, you must need a lot of those. Wrong device. I'm well aware it's the wrong device. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Fully clubbing out these. Turn off the right eye. Turn on the mouth. 60k. Turn it off. And do the next one as well. Okay, I'm running out of time real fast here. These devices are some real mumbo jumbo, ain't they? Hopeless. Just blast away your hopelessness. Not much left on you. What else you got here? I mean, I could just take a guess on these. That's some love. You can keep the love. You got some trust. Keep the trust. You got some misery, I'll blast away your misery. And then, ooh, it's touch and go on both of these, but I will take this first. Set room to two. Turn on the right eye. Turn on the device. Turn off the device. And I need to do this again. Flip the on off switch many times. Change the type of light to just the oak crumbs. Turn on the device. Flip the on-off switch seven times. We're not going to get this done done in time. Set frequency to 15,000. And then the last one is the menorah, but... 
just, just short on time. Is that how three days you've taken me? Tragic. Hope the state rewards me, because she sure isn't. After a lot of requests, the constructor happily announced his plans for a new park in the boots. Ah. A hybrid park, brand new concept. What kind of hybrid? Otherworldly fauna, state-of-the-art tech, mixed in unique ways. Wow, that is... That is fast. Just down the road, they've been at uh, fixing up the kids' play park for half a year. Okay, let's get you done and dusted, shall we? I need my 15 Copex. And you don't need your personality. My tongue is stuck. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Wasting all my time traveling here to do this. sorted out. Where to now, game? Glenn lost his father at an early age and lived as- Oh my god, can we be done? Can we just say the next 20 minutes? Happen instantaneously, we can jump forward to some dark siding. That would be nice. This game is uh, a very good punishment choice by Bane. I can't stand it. It's just, it's so pointless. So rubbish. So awful to listen to, to read. And dealing with these, have you ever played with a bop it machine? So it's one of those crappy toys you get at Christmas. You, you pick it up and it starts doing this little beat and it says bop it and you hit the button and it says twist it and you twist this little thing on the side and then what is it? Flick it. You flick a button. Mm, there's other bits to it. And you just keep following that. That's what playing with these little toys are like. And it's not fun. It's really, really not fun. I'm sure it's been at least two hours, Jake. We won't look too closely. Patience, Jake. For Screamer was forced to play Mind Scanners for an hour fifty. He no longer was who he was before. Yeah, yeah, you see right through me, Ninja. Let's go and deal with Glenn. And Darian is right. It's not a punishment if you can just choose not to do it. I didn't expect this. Mother sent for you. Well, come inside. Is he going to think that his mother's still alive or something like that? Looks like a ballet teacher, strong woman. Mother is also strong. I can kind of see where you're coming from there. Some magical place far away. Everyone's dancing, free from duties. Yeah, imaginary world. It's escapism, can't you see? Not good for you. Chains, house, strange. Feels trapped. The set of the ballet Huntsman. Wooden pillars rising and sinking into the wet forest floor. Fabulous. Hunts people. Afraid of the woods. Sexual thoughts from art. None of this really applies to what he's saying here. Mm, let's go with the most deviant one. Mother's teacups broken. She'll be furious. Mm, likes to break stuff. Like to break him. Glenn thinks his mother is alive and spends all his time caring for her. He's submissive, nervous, and great passion for dancing. Can't maintain his work. Right, I'm gonna try just stressing this guy out until he dies for a change. Because we haven't seen what happens there. And I'll admit a slight bit of curiosity about it. Trapped in the clutches of his dead mother. Right, what am I going to do then? I will... You're probably right. Mother always told me I need to be more focused. I can do better, Doctor. Please show me how. I'll get right on that. Let's, uh, let's get zapping, shall we? Get that out of here. Where'd my toy go? Oh yeah, got a good treatment first. Easy now, yeah, easy indeed. Where's my toy? Oh, I think what happened was I took it off of here. 
Yeah, there we go. Right, so that thing looks dangerous. Well, too bad. I'm, uh, I'm the one who decides. Let's get Zap happy. Can we please st No, no we cannot, Glenn. Glenn Star got stressed. Treatment must end. I was hoping there'd be a bit more to it. Okay, he ran off. Perhaps we'll hear a bit more about him later on. How about you, Nancy? Oh, Nancy. Please help me figure out the mystery. Mystery of the Seven Ships or the one at Malloy Castle? Uh, is that a threat? Are you going to steal my stuff again, Nancy Drew? Stop it, Fooch. I'm sorry. With full force, her foot hits you in the stomach. You throw up. I'm so, so sorry. Didn't mean... Will you just be... Report. Report Nancy for her crimes. Please, you have to help me. I am helping you. By helping society at large. In less than one minute, two officials arrive. Drag her away. Only her left foot is kicking. Keeping up appearances, I see. She is a threat to herself and everyone around her. Some people just don't want to be helped. Well, can I at least get paid? There's a little something for your trouble. That is certainly a little something, isn't it? Alright, well, I'm keen to see what happens with our other friends that we've taken care of. Oh, massively dissident. Massively. I suppose if you really liked Papers, Please, this game would be right up your alley. I did not. What is it someone else in chat called it? Overt, um... Thinly veiled virtue signaling the game. Not sure if I go that far. Must be very thickly veined, I can't see what virtue it's trying to signal. A couple of days ago, a citizen broke into the Faraday Institute and stole vital information, most likely a member of the terrorist group Moonrise. The citizen murdered an official and got away. I'm currently trying to locate them. One of our suspects is Nasir. Hey, didn't I speak to Nasir? Declare him insane, erase his mind. You will, of course, receive a bonus in doing so. No, oh, there's Nasir. School teacher for 14 years, burdened by grief. Sounds pretty insane to me. The most negative reviews on Steam were from avid papers. Please, fans, Jake, I guess you're in good company. Yeah, but the game is still largely popular, or at least gets uh, popular approval on Steam. Hey old friend, it's been ages, haven't seen each other since Jessica's in Embering, and that was a year ago. I heard about your daughter, they're in this room. Why? Doesn't matter. It's gone too far, I don't trust him. Heard you became a mind scanner, you can at least visit when a level 3 citizenship. You must get her out of there. I'm in a lot of trouble. A couple of days ago I was browsing through discs, officials burst through the door. Hide behind a stack of Splendor trash. I walked up to the owner of the store, said something about him being a disruptor. Reason knocked him out. Like, that's what we do with disruptors. I accidentally knocked over the stack of records. One of the officials came back in, saw me. He climbed after me. Panicked. Kicked. He fell. Ten meter drop and he broke his neck. What, from ten meters? Not made of sturdy enough stuff. I'm afraid they'll track me down. They sent you. I told you the truth. You uh, gotta help me. Don't worry. A bit of mind scanning will put your mind at ease. North gate. Great piece of architecture. It's a whole city. Gates are closed. Let the outzoners in. They don't want any trouble to fear. Oh, I don't like what you're into. He's a questioner. 
current class, one of the best I've had, and they still make me want to jump out the window. They're actually really enthusiastic. Mm, sounds pretty suicidal to me. If he wasn't suicidal, he wouldn't joke about it, surely. That's my old clown mask. Sometimes I put it on to scare Jessica. <laughs> Wanted to hurt her. One of the nurses who took care of Jessica, they were doing their best job, didn't have enough. Health ought to be the highest priority. Damn it. What a critic are we? Album cover. It keeps going on about Jessica, right? Let it go. It's been years. Sounds like she's from who believes in aliens. Hospital bed, mental image, dying appears now and then, da 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 da. Memory is slowly being replaced by the good years. She was so happy. Sounds like you're denying the truth. I bet she wasn't happy. You kept scaring her with that clown mask. Poor bank, the Tower of Evil. We work our asses off to pay maintenance. The bank swoops in, takes a cut for handling our transactions. Maintenance should go to healthcare, not some rich banker. I think he wants to be rich himself here. This is how I imagine Brain Portal looks like. The one of da da da. I love the book, kid. Not sure if it's a good read today, though. He <laughs> dislikes reading. Psychonaut. I don't know what Psychonaut is. Wait, there was a game called Psychonauts. Was that the one where you write something down and it appears? That was pretty cool. Nasty began to question the rules of the institution. As his grief continues to wear him down, opinions go stronger. That's clearly a mark of insanity. Scribble knots, that sounds more reasonable. Psychonauts was the uh, the game where you jump into people's minds then. Didn't like that game, despite it being a, an action platformer. What are you doing? I didn't kill that guy on purpose, it was an accident. I was at the wrong place at the wrong time. Come on, you know me, you're my friend. I wouldn't make friends with someone like actually. <laughs> he looks quite a bit like uh, one of my friends in real life now that I think about it. Oh goodness, it's a bit uncanny actually. Okay, well, time to remove your mind here. Is this monstrosity going to help me? That's the plan. But how is it going to help? Oh, time's ticking already. Let's get to it then. Let us remove your broken ladder thing. Finding broken gate. One, two, three, four, five, six. Really? I'll believe six. One of the fastest ones to get through that. I'll do another one. Why not? Oh god. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The next one up is the strongholdy one. Self-hatred, right? I'll remove your self-hatred. Uh, that I don't have access to. Uh, let's let's calm down on this for a little bit. No, we're not ending your treatment. But I wait. It's uh oh uh oh uh oh uh oh. How do I how do I switch out my tools during the treatment? Is such a thing even possible? There's something for changing out my tools here. Do I always make a treatment plan? Mm, make makes a good point on that, but I thought I, I thought previously I was able to. Um, I thought previously I was able to switch these out before. Oh well, what can you do? Let's get strongholdy things done, even though it's only two of them being done. Neglect, as well. Cure your neglect. And now he has no personality anymore. Where's his thought of murderer? Oh, I see hopeless. Horrible word search here. I'll switch you out. 
And we're, what are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Blast those off and call the day done. Right, so I need to get whatever that is. Looks like some kind of shogi piece. Glenn Stars never shows up at work. Spends all day and night running errands for his phantom mother. I thought you could help him. It's a pity. I'll have to fire him. Well, again, sounds like a him problem. He will end up in the outer zone. Here's a penalty. At least the penalties don't get worse and worse like they do in... I forget the name of the game. Offman. Accomplished athlete. Now begun to show erratic behaviour. Well, no, first and foremost, I'll put away that largely broken thing and get the Shogi Peace Destroyer. Wait, where is the Shogi Peace Destroyer? Oh, it's you, right. I think these are reversed. It takes a bunch of time, costs me money, but... Organic machine mirrors the soul of the patient through the eyes. Match the pattern, extract the insanity from the soul. I will do that for you, my friend. Society is flawed. This guy's got problems, but it's okay. I'm here to erase them. So what do I even do? Um. Oh, I see now. I gotta make patterns. What was the first one? It's that. Some real mumbo jumbo going on here. Right, what's that? One, two, three, four, five, six, probably seven. Ooh. Can you even count? Apparently not, it was eight. One, two, three. I'm counting three. Put the stronghold thing in. Devotion? No, you don't need devotion where we're going. Uh, phobia. Let's cure your phobias. Get another stronghold out of the question. Agony. I'll remove your agony as well. Bring in the stair thinger. Uh, man, this is just annoying. Um... One. Yeah, I'm only counting one. Is that, is that the whole design behind these little things we're doing here? It's like, we'll annoy the player into thinking they're having fun. What was the first one there? Alright, get one done and I'll have you eliminated in time. There you have it. Teach kids everything good. Alright, but he's still a murderer, so what are we going to do with him? He was the killer. Neutralization confirmed. He is no longer a threat to our society. Good job. Oh, okay, so we just reform him and let him carry on. And that was my lovely bonus for Very good. Alright, well, we'll call that one a day. Miss Boulevard just lost a major court case when she tried to build her defense on the fact that her opponent's lawyer is made of 60% water. She'll be forcefully reassigned. <laughs> Her inability to do well at uh, her court cases is far from my problem. And you know what else isn't my problem? This game. I've had enough of this game, and we're calling it there. Um, M and M and M and M and M. I might be a little bit late on coming back for State of Decay 2, actually. I want to take a short nap after going through this horror. So let's say I'll be back in something like uh, an hour and a bit of shut-eye, and then I can... Cleanse the memory of this horrible game by slaughtering zombies. <laughs> I'm not even sure I paid for this game. I'm pretty sure it was sent to me because there's no way I would have bought this game. 
Uh, maybe I should double check on that. In any case, until I'm back with some State of Decay and until I've used enough bleach to purge the memory of this game, it's a brief cheers and a cheerio.